I'm rolling, so whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi, so this video is going to show you how you can use the camera in your classroom during the hybrid uh, learning model. Um, first, we want to start with, if you notice, the camera is up here. Um, in most of the classrooms, it's positioned either to the left of the Promethean, in the middle, or to the right, depending upon the configuration of the classroom. Every room is slightly different. Um, the reasoning behind the camera being placed here is a few different things. One, it helps focus on the Promethean board, giving the teacher the capability to teach from the Promethean board. Two, we're going to have kids in front of us, and we don't want kids on camera. Uh, the response has been, well, kids have already been on camera at home. However, they have the opportunity to put the camera off. So by placing it here, we keep our kids that are here private, and then we can focus our teaching on the Promethean board. And there's also more than enough room to walk back and forth as you are teaching. And you may want to do some science experiments or just work on the Promethean board. And we will show you in more detail how that looks for the students at home and also the students in front of you in the hybrid model. Okay. So when I come into my classroom, the biggest change I'm going to see is that we're used to what we see here is what we see here. That has changed. Now what it will be is two screens, meaning I can work here and I can also work here. The reason behind that, I will be able to see my kids at home, teach for my Promethean and address the kids in front of me. So if you haven't worked with two screens, this is how it works. When I open up a window, it's going to open on this screen first. So I'm opening Active Inspire right now. And once it opens, I want to get the Active Inspire from this screen, my desktop screen, to my Promethean because I want my kids to be able to see it. Okay, so to get what comes up on this screen over to our Promethean board, I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to open my Active Inspire, and as you see, it's on this screen right now, but I want to get it over to my Promethean board. I'm going to left click and drag it over. Then once I drag it over, I can resize it to make it work for my size of the Promethean board. So now that I have my Google here, I have my Active Inspire here, I can see my friends at home, and I can teach to my friends that are in front of me. So for example, I can open an Active Inspire, and I can write. Doug's going to show you what it looks like from a student view. So right now, if I was just about to write, I would put some numbers up here. It's not too terrible, but I'm still engaging with everybody. I'm still able to see my friends at home. But here's where it changes. So now I really want my students to focus on what I'm writing up on the board. I'm going to come back to my Google Meet or whatever you're using and I'm going to present now. So now I'm going to have two choices because I have two screens going. I obviously am going to choose my screen two, which is my Promethean board. And it doesn't matter by the number you can choose by the visual graphic there. And I'm going to share. So now once I share, the student view changes. Now what the students see is my board. So when I write on it, it's more focused for them. I'm writing on my board. I'm still able to see my kids at home. And I'm engaging with my kids in class. So now as I'm presenting my screen, my students at home can see what I'm working on. I can see my kids here and I can still see my students here. So I also wanna show you that there's a built-in camera. Um, I can walk around the room and my friends at home, can you guys still hear me? You can give me a thumbs yeah. up or a yes. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. And Doug's in a different room now. He's all the way down the hall. I just want you to notice I'm in the back of the classroom and everybody can still hear me. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. I have a mask on and I'm standing now in the back of the classroom. So it gives me the freedom to move around the room while I'm still, again, engaging with my kids in front of me, 
and engaging with my kids at home. So we can also show our kids a video, interact in that way as well as part of our instruction. So I'm just going to show a little short clip of a video here. And my friends at home. Can you guys hear the video at home? Next, you have some questions to provoke thinking and discussion. Can you guys give me a thumbs up if you can hear the video? All of this is. Can you also hear me talking during the video? The aha moment. So I can Here also interact my friends that are in school. I'm talking with. Every activity. I'm asking the questions. Simple supplies, ready to print handouts. So now I'm done. I've instructed. Now a lot of what we do is conversation and um, discussion and discourse with each other. So how do I do that? I'm going to stop sharing my screen we just watched a video, I, I taught a math lesson, a, a history lesson, whatever it is. And now I want my kids at home to be part of the classroom here. So what I would do is I bring my friends at home right up onto my board and then I allow myself to have a conversation. So now I have Doug, who's a student in our class. So Doug, we just watched a video about the scientific method. Tell me something you learned about the scientific method. I like the idea of making a hypothesis and guessing what to do in science. Oh, I, I see Kathy shaking her head. Kathy, do you agree or disagree with Doug? I see she used a hand signal. She was like, I agree. I agree with you, Doug. I also love making a guess and then really testing it out and then seeing if my guess was right or if I have to go back and rethink my hypothesis through. Does anyone disagree or have anything like to add on what Kathy and Doug were just talking about? So that's one way to engage the kids and bring them together after a lesson. So a few things that we went over, we drag what we want from our monitor onto our Promethean board. We have our camera right up there that when I come in, only works when I turn on my video conferencing service, whether it be Meet or Zoom. I don't have to do anything. It functions already for us. And then I can just go about my teaching as I normally would in a typical environment. And also just to point out the highlight is you have two screens, two separate screens. You no longer have to hit freeze to look at something else on your desktop because they're no longer mirroring each other they're two separate screens avoiding the use of another device one device one multiple functionality